Hello gorgeous Aries, how are you my loves? This is your general reading for April 2021. All the usual blurb is down below, but I would like to say hello to all of those people returning. I'm really happy you've come back and I'm very, very grateful to see you. And for all of you who are new to the channel, welcome in. I hope you get something from this that helps in some way. So it's a general reading. It's not meant to be Pacific Soulmate 22. Look at that. Isn't that nice? But we'll be talking about that this month. It's a nice way to start, isn't it? All right, my loves. So, I don't think you're going to be very chatty this month. Not, not, not your usual... Go out and get them. Yeah, more of a just I get this flow, just a flow, which is quite nice actually. Let things come and go. As they're meant to. Oh, nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. So that's a good sign with the soulmate and the nine of cups. You've got things looking quite nice. All right, as usual, my loves, I will lay these out and then we will go through them and see what they're telling us. Four of swords, nine of pentacles, the moon. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Death, Six of Cups, The Guide, Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and Four of Pentacles. Repeating numbers. Okay, my loves, so, time out. Exactly what I kind of felt before we got started. Four of Swords, taking time out. Just, just to let things absorb. Let things work through the way you need them to work through without pushing too hard or like really struggling to find answers. The foundation of the situation is the Seven of Pentacles. And that's growth, maturity, development. Um, in Australia, in the Southern Hemisphere, it's autumn. So this is kind of like harvest. Um, recent past, you've, you, you've got the Page of Swords but something came into your awareness that set your brain on fire. Look at that for a, a oh my God moment. That's a, that's a real like lightning bolt times 10, the page of swords. Something's just gone and it's ended something. Whatever that has, whatever that did, it's ended something because you've got death there. And that's probably why you're taking some time out to just really not, I don't, it doesn't come across as grieving. It comes across as really letting something go, just letting it go, it, it, like a change of seasons, if that makes sense. Coming up very, very soon, no, no. I don't know why I said that. Uh, 
Um, I think whatever went was flashy. Whatever it was, it was um, it was just all sparkle. You know, it, it, there was no substance to it. That's that's what it was. There was no substance to it, and that's what you'd let go. You discovered that that this was just. I keep hearing sparkles. It was just sparkles. And so, oh, look at the sparkles over there. Look at the real sparkles. Um, and look at this. If you look at this, I love imagery. It's all sparkles. And when you look at this, the sparkles are, are kind of floating out the window. Like fairy dust. It's, it's just all um, an illusion. And so the, the obstacle, not the obstacle, the opportunity here is to see what's being hidden. This is the moon. This is what um, she, it talks about illusions and, and secrets and things in your subconscious that you haven't discovered yet. And I think that's, that's the opportunity available to you this month is to really see like go within and see what's important to you um please forgive the chainsaws out there coming up this is what's coming up is the six of cups and if you look at that she's got her ancestors around her and i think this is you've got some guides coming in to help you um It's not, it's not a go back to the past and see if someone coming in from the past. I get the feeling that they're going to help you grow into the authenticity that you were always meant to. Um, it, they're the ones from the past. It's your ancestors that are coming in to help you see. See how she's in white? Um, help you see clearly the higher vibration. That, that you were meant to step into. You're not what you're not seeing, what you're not aware of is the guide. And this is, I think this is your power. This is who you were meant to. Yes, because there's a child in there growing up into a woman. Can be masculine or feminine, doesn't have to be a man or a woman. It's just the example in this card and spiritualism is very feminine energy so that's what you're not seeing you're not seeing that this this substance this is the real sparkle not this this is fake sparkle this is real sparkle we want real sparkle this is going to come in really really fast they are going to send you these messages really fast because this is what your higher self wants you to know and they are going to let you know at a rapid rate of knots. They're not going to make a must... Blah, 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 blah. Yes, they're not going to muck around sharing their knowledge with you now that you're open to something deeper. This is your hopes and fears. This is your hopes and fears. You fear that if you get this, see the transformation butterflies, that, that people will all have their hands out wanting your help, wanting you to tell them what to do or to help them. And you, you fear that you won't have enough resources within yourself or enough knowledge yet to be able to do this um, without being overwhelmed or without being without knowing how to keep your balance 
before you give to others. Your hope is that you'll be able to. Your hope is that with this new knowledge, and this is a wealth of knowledge, you will be able to um, really help people and balance things out for them and show them how to show them how to balance their own lives out for their best benefit. The outcome is the Four of Pentacles. I will check into this because the Four of Pentacles does talk about hanging on to things. But in this case, I think There could be some resistance to this. There could be some backwards and forwards and, you know, the fear of the unknown where you, um, where you want something and you get it and then you get scared. Um, so you kind of revert back to the outdated stuff, but the stuff you know. Um, this is not a dream. She looks very dreamy as if this is all a fantasy. You've got temperance, definitely not a fantasy. That's Archangel Michael. Gabriel, I can't remember. That's another balance card. I'll show you in a second. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. That is when you're frightened. You know, back here I said your fear is um, not knowing enough or not being secure enough or not having enough protection to be able to help people in a balanced way without giving, without overgiving too much of yourself. Um, and the outcome is you will have help learning how to do that, learning how to hang on to enough for yourself and then give to others. Um, it's really interesting because when um, a friend of mine now was teaching energy, work and energy healing she said no you, you bring in the energy and you keep 40 percent for yourself and then channel um 60 percent in to to do the healing she said that way you protect your own energy and you keep your own energy flowing as well and i found that really interesting and in here she's got four four of pentacles and there's the six being handed out, so that's the Ten of Pentacles, beautifully done, and the Nine of Cups overall. I think the soulmate in this situation is you. I don't see any any coupling, because if you look at this, this is what you're not seeing. This is who you are, and you are your own soulmate, and they're asking you to step into this. I think it's I think it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right my loves, I hope you like this and I will talk to you soon. Much love. Mm -hmm.